Hey y'all, this is Mike from Maine Primitive Skills School and I just want to give a shout out to all the people who have been inspiring us on this pursuit. There's Lars Anderson uh, who got us really hooked into the speed shooting technologies that we've been working on and Jamie Burley and Dave Canterbury uh, with the archery tag and with the PVC bows. Uh, so I want to give you a quick update on what we're doing here. So here's some of the bows we've been making. Uh, we found out that the flatter you make a bow, the less draw weight there is, and the more you leave it more pipe-like, the more powerful it becomes. Uh, and then Jamie came out with his work on the different designs and the pounds and you know the, the draw weight and all that. That was really helpful. So we cut down our learning curve thanks to Jamie on that work, and we're getting into um, kind of a medium style, about 30, 35 pound draw bow design. And we're going to be using these designs. Uh, let me just give you an idea of what it looks like here. We're going to be using this basic design to refine a number of different uh, shooting styles that we've run across in different uh, literature and examples and through some classes and practical application. But I want to cover them with you today. Here's one. Here's a bow with. Here's a bow with a little arrow shell. Looking at YouTube videos and archers with uh, non-English competition type styles and I'm going to ask Otter to share what you're doing. What are you doing? How, what's this style? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I saw a girl doing something really cool like this so I thought I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, so what she did, she kind of leaned over her bow, she drew back like two thirds and brought her arm up. And out. Right, so fingers facing out. Palm up, and you want to bring my hand back to my cheek and then letting go. It actually went in real good. Yep. <laughs> you get that on there. Look, Brady. Yeah. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> okay, so it, that style, I tried it. It feels a lot like a crossbow when you fire it. Can I get a different view of you shooting that? Yeah. Nice. Okay, and what is this? What kind of modified style is this for? Well, this is sort of like how Lars Anderson does it. He takes the arrow, I guess on the outside, but it feels like the inside to me because it's closer to your right hand, you know? So it's on the opposite side of the bow that you would from, I guess, English archery. And he's just doing a pinch grab. He's not pulling with three fingers like this. It's just a pinch. And it's not even, he barely moves his right arm. It moves maybe a little bit, but mostly, the bow just comes up and he pushes his left hand forward and then fires like that. So it ends up being this sort of fluid little thing. It's cool though. <laughs> nice. You like you like firing it better that way? Yeah, I really like it. Why? What's different than the uh, English style? Um, it feels more dynamic and aggressive if you're actually to use it in a hunting situation. So. I just like the forwardness of it. Kind of cat-like. <laughs> so you have to forgive the uh, the shabby look of our arrows. We're <laughs> working on a lot of arrow concepts. So we're making, a, we go out, we find the straightest dowels we can, and then we're working with duct tape and washers and lug nuts and trying to find weight ratios and working with the archer's paradox just to, uh, I guess we're reinventing the wheel or rediscovering what our ancestors used to know. We're hoping to tap into that kind of energy because arrowcraft uh, has a lot to do with accuracy we're finding as well as a lot of the other approaches and applications we're, we're testing. Um, the speed archery, we're making a specialized knock that you can grip with the pinch style because it's much easier to knock your arrow or string your arrow with a pinch style and not having to look at it. So by feel you can with the pinch style bring that arrow up, feel that groove and feed it right in and then just pivot your hand. The one thing we're missing is how do these speed shooters transfer all these arrows in their hands onto the string quickly. So right now we got it to the pinch makes it easier to without looking Take your arrow out of your quiver or out of your hand, find where that goes, and then swivel and then just use that pinch style. 
All right, so with the speed shooting, uh, the, we're kind of gravitating towards that as a separate shooting style than hunting. Uh, the intuitive or uh, instinctive shooting, the, the more native, small N, around the globe, wherever there were bows and arrows style of hunting, seems to be your, your bow is down low, right? And it's a simultaneous push-pull. And looking at Taylor's um, experimentation, where the fingers are out, I tried that and it looks much more like a crossbow and feels as accurate as a crossbow. The, the firing of this is so much more accurate than the, even the English bring it to your cheek, hold it and release format, which I think uh, culturally is incorrect if you apply uh, that style to hunter-gatherer situations. I think you're going to go hungry. So that's where we're at um, with those styles. There's the speed archery, there's the instinctive hunting shooting where you're stalking through the shrubs, and now we're working on um, you know, comparing that to the old English and the performance that we're experiencing here uh, at the Main Primitive Skills School. So please give us some insights and feedback. If anybody knows that switch over to get the arrows that are in your knuckles onto the string, share that. That's, that's vital information. Thank you.